Now keeping the Friday energy alive, our boys over at WIBC, Hammer and Nigel, joining us now. Ah, oh, it's great to see you as always. We're going to dive right in. Now, if you've got an extra, I don't know, $2 million, you can buy a brand new Bentley. That's right. Although, beware, <laughs> this expensive car doesn't even have a top to it. Big night. Is this anything? Yeah, I hope you're living in somewhere where there's an arid climate, where there's no rain. You get a $2 million Bentley that you paid for. All of a sudden, a storm comes raining down on you. That doesn't make any sense to me. And i got to be completely honest with you. I had the finances to buy a $2 million Bentley. They only made 12 of these, by the way. If I did indeed have the finances to buy, I'm the kind of guy, I would still be driving around John Voight's LeBaron. Okay? <laughs> Just like Joe George Costanza from Seinfeld. Yes. I'm not like a Bentley guy. I'd be too scared to drive this thing around. Wait a minute. You're telling me there's only 12 of these in the world. They cost $2 million a piece. It's custom made for me. There's no roof. And I might have to, you know, park next to the guy at Walmart who might ding my car when it opens, when he opens his door. No, thanks. I can't take that kind of pressure of driving around a $2 million car. Give me a Chrysler LeBaron any day of the week. No, McKenzie, this is nothing. And trust the man, he knows what he's talking about. If there's anybody in Indianapolis that knows what it's like to spend a lot of money to see something without a top off, it's <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> It. I'm going to say, give me that bad boy. I will drive that baby like I stole it. I love cars. I would oh, die for that. Just to, It's so sexy and sleek. All right, speaking of Grimace, sexy and sleek, eh? He's been a <laughs> McDonald's character, but we want to know what exactly is he? Okay, McDonald's wants us to leave it up to our imagination, but we all want to know. Hammer, what do you think? Is this anything? So I've done a little research here. <laughs> the amount of research that I've done yeah. to find the origin of Grimace would be staggering to most people. But there was a guy that worked in the uh, Canada marketing office of McDonald's, and he did a podcast interview where he said that Grimace is supposed to be a taste bud, Ugh. a big taste bud. That's so think about this. You've got the Hamburglar. You've got the Fry Guys, you've got Ronald McDonald, and this big purple freaking taste bud walking around. <laughs> yeah. No, this is nothing, because it feels like somebody was up against a deadline here. <laughs> we need another character. It's due at noon. It's 11.55. Exactly. Here, uh, let me just draw a big gumdrop and put some feet on it. Grimace, there you go. Here's my check. Purple blob, bada bing, bada boom, a taste bud. Oh. I love it. Thank you for all that research, though. Hours and hours. We appreciate you. No problem. <laughs>